Mercedes-Benz W163 hood latch and hood release cable replacement. This is a 2005 ML500. The reason the grill is on is because the hood latch got stuck closed. We could not open the hood. So I had to take out the grill and go in there to uh, open the hood. If this is happening to you, check the pinned comment or this uh, info link up here to that video. I shot a whole video. In our case, you can see the latch and the cable pretty much got destroyed. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace both of these. We will start with the latch. To remove the hood latch, we just have these two 10 millimeter fasteners that we got to remove there. With those two fasteners out, you can just kind of wiggle. We'll go the latch out. There it goes. All right. And on this side, you can see there's the cable. And this here is the electrical. The other end of this electrical, it's a little difficult to fish out. If you are not replacing this sensor, if you're going to reuse this sensor on your latch, then I'll show you how to just keep this in place uh, and remove it. We'll do the cable first though, so I'm just gonna pull back just to get this spring out of the way and then push this cable out like that. Now, the, and then it just, you saw it just kind of slid off there. So the cable is free and we're still connected on the electrical. If you don't wanna fish out the other end of that electrical, you can come in here and just disconnect it. I'm gonna push in these tabs and then this is gonna pull down. So you wanna do one side at a time just kind of push it in and see, I don't want to poke myself, there, like that. Come over on the other side, do the same thing, like that. And then this will just pull out. You can leave this here. Grab your new latch. So let's pretend this is your new latch. And we're going to put that right back in. And you'll notice on this, when you put it in, this is the switch right here. You can hear that. Um, this part of the spring right there, that is going to go on between here and there. That's where it's supposed to go. So when you put it back on, you're just lining it back up. Oops. Just like when you took it off, line those up there. And you'll notice on this side where that little end of the spring is going, that's normal. So snap it in. This little part came off down there, so I'm just going to put that back in the guide. I just put it back in the guide there. Put the latch back in and kind of push it towards the driver's side to get a little more slack on the electrical. And then come under here. And that is it right there. So you can usually just reach your hand in there and grab it right there. Okay, you can see the color of the wires. It's like um, orange and kind of like a light green. And then to disconnect it, I need two hands. You're just going to push this up and then pull it apart. There it is there, undone. Before you pull this out, it's a good idea to tie a string on here just because it'll make it easier to pull through when we install that. Then you can just pull it out. And if it gets caught on something, you can pull on the other end of the string to kind of encourage it. There's a few things that might get caught on. There it goes. All right. Then I'll just leave this string here to pull it back through. To install this, since I have the string there, I just tied it through. And that just kind of makes it a little bit easier. You still might have to kind of reshape it. All right. And that's a good length. Then down here to get it plugged in, it only fits one way. You just got to press it really hard. That little clasp uh, seems to, you got to really press it hard. So it goes in like that. And there it is. And then you're going to grab the cable. So we'll, we'll slide it in here. There it goes. And then same deal. Just pull the spring out of your way. Push the cable in and through there, and then put that spring back. All right. 
Then to get this in, the cable's gonna fight you a little bit. You can reach over here where there's the slack right here. You can see, and that'll kind of pull some of it through. There we go. So then looking back over here, you can see it'll go back in now. And get those two 10 millimeter fasteners. And then we'll test it a few times. And then that'll be it. The latch is in the open position right now, so we'll just test it a couple times by pressing down here to set it. All right, now it's set. I'm going to go pull the lever in the cabin. So you can see it released it, and you just want to do that a few times just to make sure everything's going well. When you know that it's working okay with your test with the hood open, go ahead and close the hood. Make sure that you've got it in the open position before you close the hood, so like this. If you're not sure, just trip it and pull the release lever and then close the hood. Here we go. Sounds good. Now pull the lever. And looks good. And we're good. So you can see it's pretty straightforward to replace the latch. The rest of this video now is going to be about replacing the hood release cable. Here's the whole setup, the cable, or the cable, the latch, and the cable release from the interior that I pulled from a vehicle at the junkyard. You can see how that cable fits in there on the interior side. It goes in there like a throttle body cable, and then there's a guide there that you got to get it in. I had to take it apart to pull it off, obviously, but I just put it back together to show that uh, if we look on that side there, when you pull the cable, that's what it's supposed to do. Real smooth. The part that would be in the interior, you can pull back and slide this out like that. It's a little bit more difficult to install just because you got to get it in that track, but that's how that goes there. Back on the vehicle here, you can see this cable is kind of bent up at the end here. Now to get this cable out, it wasn't too difficult at the junkyard, so I'm going to try to use a similar method. Obviously I didn't have to replace a new one at the one that I pulled from the junkyard, but I was thinking about how well I will replace it. This goes through here, inside here, so worst case scenario if we have to take this out to route it, but I think we'll be able to fish through it. That's it there, comes out there, runs there on the inside of the fender, runs all the way down here. And there's a little spot where it's real hard to get it on camera. That's it there. Let me get a better look for you. And that's it there. If I can get that camera to focus, that's it right there. And so I'm thinking I'll use that as the halfway point and just fish out from the cabin side uh, a line so that I can later pull it through and then I'll also try to fish out from the front side But I'm gonna start here to have a little more room to work I'm gonna remove, remove this cover and this cover just because that'll give me just a little bit more This is broken on here But this you just pull back push down on the lid and pull back and then this rocks out And then that other cover it, We're gonna need a we're gonna need a Torx for that other cover. We'll need a t20 for a few fasteners We have one here one right there, and then up here, one, two, and three. So a total of five, and those are Torx 20s. And these fasteners, they won't come out, uh, they'll actually stay connected to the cover. You don't have to screw them out all the way. Just screw them enough that they're out of the receiving threads and you'll be able to lift this cover up. So they'll kind of, they'll stay in their place, but once they're out enough, this whole cover will pull off. And that gives a little bit more room to work there. So now you can see that's what we're going for there. So I'm just gonna get a pry tool on there and pop that out. I doubt you're gonna be able to see anything, but I'm just gonna go in with this long screwdriver and try to pop it out of that little grommet. And obviously mind the fuse box while you're poking around in here. And I almost got it. 
There it is. All right, so I got it out. Uh, you might be able to see how I just moved it. Let me show you. There it is there. You can see where it had been because the cable's clean. And I just pushed it back. I'll put an arrow there on the part that you're trying to pry out on it. And now we can disconnect it from the cabin side and set up our pull through. Here in the cabin, that's the release lever. On in the inside there, that is a, I believe an eight millimeter. So I'm just gonna remove that fastener. And yeah, that's an eight. With that eight millimeter fastener out there, you can see we got that, we got that loose. And um, you can just take that out the same way I showed before. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Spin around. And that just comes out there. I might have to put the camera down. You get the drift. Just pull this up there. So there we go. We got this cable. And now this actually moved uh, quite freely when we pulled it. Feels like this is too. So I'm going to go ahead and tie a line on here so I have a reference to pull this back through. So you can see I've got some wire looped around there and I looped it around the top there a bunch of times before bringing it around and then just kind of braided it all the way back and then the other end of it I've got tied to uh, just a wrench something that's not going to fit through that hole. So I got a I got some thin wire and I just took a twice the length that I needed and folded it in half and I'm going to make a loop so right here I'm gonna go around that part there. So I'll put my loop, make my loop real quick, and then loop that through there and wrap it around a bunch of times just so it's less likely to fall off. Right there. Okay, let me tighten that up. All right, and then I'm gonna go around a, a few times too. All right, so then the other end of this, I'm just gonna tie something on that I know won't fit through that hole. So I got that through there and tied off. I'm just gonna reach over, I'll show you in a second, but I'm just reaching over by the, uh, where I can grab the wire by the um, intraoctal fluid reservoir, and I'm just pulling it out. Let me turn it, all right, right there. I just reached in and grabbed the wire. You can reach in and grab it here. And I'm just gonna pull this through and get my little stopper, which is a hammer, in place. And there it is, that's in place. So we're to here now. Now if we look under here, there's a spot where the cable, right there, the cable's being held in place by a little plastic clip, so we need to pop that out. There's what the little holder thing looks like, and you can see we can just open it up and pop it off the cable. To get it out, I just went in I just went in with these 90s and just pried on it until it popped out. So now a couple more, or at least one more down here. Maybe you'll be able to see working on this one. Let's see. Ooh, that one's a little bit more difficult. I might have to get a different tool because the box is in the way. But maybe I can grab it, pull it out. All right, there it is. Yeah, let's see, so that's two. No, it looks like there's just two of those. I pulled these from the junkyard, but if you're reusing yours, just pop them off. They just open up and pop right off, because you'll want to reuse these. All right, so I'm good and pulled through on this side, so I'm just going to wrap my wire around here, like that. And, because that's the only stretch I needed, obviously I can place all that by hand. Now we'll move back to this in the back here. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a little tug here and see what we can do. I'm gonna try to keep it as straight as I can. Okay, let's move in. Moving a little slow though. Now it's moving. I'm gonna check the other end. Okay, the wire's in there. Just keep tugging. Here it comes. Okay. And hopefully my wire is still connected. Can I get through? Let's see. Yep, it is. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to take the wire off of my 
old cable and put it onto my new cable so I can pull that through. Remember that the ends are different. Um, this is the end that goes to the hood with the plastic deal on it and that small design. This is the end that goes in the cabin. And again, make sure you've got something tied on the other end. It's not going to fit through that hole. Or alternatively, if you have a helper, you want somebody to hold that line. And there's my replacement line on there. I added a little more wire just to, just to be sure it doesn't come undone. And I'm going to pull this through. All right, I'm ready to give this a shot here and see if I can pull this through. I'm going to go back in, go back in the cabin and kind of just, just get it started enough. So, some of that stock out. Well, I'm going to check there. I have to guide it a little. And, oh, okay, I can bring it forward actually. I'll just kind of place it like this and then take up some of that slack that's there. can see there that the wire is in the hole but the cable is not yet in the hole right there so I'm going to give it a little tug see if I can get that through there and I'm just going to go ahead and push it through actually by hand since okay so I just went ahead and pushed it through by hand I just went ahead and pushed it by hand in through that spot and so I'm moving it and you can see where it goes in the fuse box because you see how I'm moving it like that. So I'm just going to give another, give a, a steady pull from the inside of the cabin and see if I can't get that through. kind of see if I can push it a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if I can push it some. Try again. It's real close. I gotta get a flashlight and look inside there. I just gave it a little push on this end, and if you look inside here, you can see where it's pretty close. You can see my wire coming through there. If you look up here, see that wire? That's the very end. That is the, oops, let me get the camera in there. That's the very end of my wire. So there it is. So it looks like it goes behind that little piece of carpet there so worst case scenario I just take the carpet out I'm gonna keep pulling it though it's a little bit caught it looks to me it's not caught on the cable side but it's not going behind this plastic because it looks to me like it's supposed to go in that little guide there so I'm going to take this plastic trim piece off here and I think I can get that off by just popping this up just get behind this uh, Mercedes kick plate thing here. Just get under it with a pry. It just pries right off. And then there's some fasteners under here. Yeah, there's the back of that. You're just popping those plastic guides out of all those holes there. Then you can see we got a fastener there, 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 and there. So I'm going to take those out. That'll bring this plastic piece up and I'll be able to pull this trim piece back enough just so I can put it through that guide and then run it behind the plastic to come out that hole. All right with those four fasteners out this will just pull up. It's not going to pull out all the way because it's connected here but it'll move up enough. I'm going to pull this weather stripping up so that I can get that panel out. Just going to pull it out enough that I can get this piece. So how is this? This must have some clips on the back of it. Alright, I just put the pry in here and it well, looks like it will just pop out. Let's see what we can find back here. So I can't, there we go. 
Alright. And alright, great. That panel has just got one, two, three, three little uh clips holding it. Just looks like it goes through that little guide there. And then it goes down on the by this uh, soundproofing insulation stuff, and then it comes out that hole there. I'm gonna leave everything like this. You can see I just pulled it down a little bit uh, because before I route this in, I know this cable is gonna have a preference about how exactly it's gonna to wanna to sit. So I'll get the other end of it hooked in place before I hook it up here. Here's the other end. I got the I got the wire on it now. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this through. So let's see, I'm just going to kind of guide it since I know it generally goes in this direction. And what are we caught on? Caught, there we go. Okay. And over here, ought to be coming up pretty soon. And there it is. All right. So then back over here, we know this little thing just moves up and down. We can move that back in place. We know this is going to go back like this and we have those little uh, plastic things that we put it on and then this cable up here so we're about in the right we're about in the right place so I think I can go ahead and go back in the cabin and, and tie it up I've got this latch end tied off here to the wire or to the hole and a little bit of slack so that I can get it on that guide in the cabin a little more easily I noticed this white mark on the cable here. I'm wondering if that's an alignment mark there. You can see it kind of would fit. I'm thinking that that is supposed to be turned, so I turned it with that facing back because that kind of fits well like that. And so I don't know if this is an alignment point or what. I have to push it back in a little bit to see. Okay, that would be right there. Let me see how that lines up with the with the handle. So I push that panel back in. You just um, just hit it, and it'll go back in. And uh, I'll put this back on. So let's see. Put it through like that. So you know it's going to line up with the guide. Let it go down along the guide. It's not quite there. It is, and that's that's in there. So then I'm going to have to tug on the other side before I try to put this fastener in because it'll just try to pop out. Then once you have it so it will fit, these go into those holes and then that 8mm goes in the center. When you install this, you want to make sure that the vinyl part is down in there like it is there. Not um, not so that you have just a bunch of cable running here and the vinyl out there. If you don't, you'll run out of slack up at the um, latch. To get this weather stripping back in place, just start from where you didn't take it out and just kind of go, along, go down and just kind of press it in. It just goes around that pinch weld. All the way down here, just get it lined up back where it was. Then these four fasteners for this trim piece. Then for this kick plate, just slide it in on that side first. Press it in, it'll just snap in. Alright. So back up here, this end is in a good spot. It's just not quite where it needs to be uh, on the other side. So there we go there. Alright. You want to put these little cable guides back on and then push them back in the hole. There's a hole right under here and then the other one is right over, right over there. You should have something like this over here. If you don't have this much of the cable part showing, go back onto the inside and make sure that you've got the, the vinyl part, the sleeve, pulled all the way down. If you're going to plug the electrical in, route it through here and then down. And then it comes out a hole over on this side and then just pull through this harness that's on the body and then you can plug it in and then just tuck it back in so this goes together like that and then that clasp you really got to push it there it goes so you can see I got the new latch lubricated and cleaned up and I'm just gonna put this on I did take a closer look at this shape that I thought might be a should have been a circle But I don't think it it could have been a circle because um, that shape right there wouldn't allow a circle to fit in there. It would have to be some sort of half circle like this. 
So I don't actually think that this is broken, but I don't know that for a fact. So see what I mean about that shape there? So we'll get this hooked back up. Uh, just pull this spring down, get around this latch like that, and then back in here. And now we just kind of push the cable and the electrical towards the driver's side and get this thing back in. And we just need those two 10 milliliter bolts, these two. Now when I was installing it, I could feel that the cable is kind of fighting me a little bit this way. And so I can see that it's come up a, a bit right here. So I just need to push it back so it's got this, so the slack is being kind of taken care of, so to speak. And that looks about right. We'll have a look inside. Back in here, I'm just testing this. Feel how, see how it feels? Feels good. Let's go trip, trip the latch. Back out here, I'll go ahead and trip the latch. And I'll go pull it from inside, see how it feels. Felt really, really, really smooth from inside, like brand new. And it looks like it went ahead and opened that. We'll do that a few more times. Alright, seems like it's doing okay. So back over here, we can get that grommet thing pushed back in there. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. You can see I put a little white lithium grease on there to help me get it in. I think maybe I'll use my hose pliers to just try to persuade it to get back in there. That was a little tricky. I could just get my hand in there to push it into, into place, but the thick part that goes to catch, I couldn't, couldn't do anything from that side, so I went in and I grabbed it, you can see it there. I grabbed it with the long pliers from this side and just kind of kept going like that until it pulled through. And now it looks like it is in there. You'll know it's in there when you can operate the hood latch and it doesn't move. We can put this cover back on now and remember those fasteners are already in there. And those are Torx 20s. So this just lines into place. You can use the these two fasteners up here, you can easily see where they go right onto that top of the fuse box part. And then the rest of them just line up as well. Get those tightened down. We can put this piece back on now too. And not just these deals just line up there. And then you put the little snaps back in like that. And then snap. And then this one's broken, but I can still put it in. With all that put together and all the tools out, we'll go ahead and close the hood and see how this does. I'll go and open it from the inside. All right. Looks good. And that is a wrap on this hood latch and hood release cable repair. Thank you for watching and thank you for 3,000 subscribers. I hope this video was helpful for you and good luck with your repair.